Welcome back to Dawn of the Zeds, 3rd edition. Alright, let's get going. Couple of events this episode. And we're starting off with, oh, a doozy. you got to be kidding me. Alright, we don't look at the 4R. So, uh, infection, uh, outbreak, no, and eat, roll a die. Now, we do have one unit in the hospital. You'd roll one die if you got equal to or less than. You'd burn a supply. But we also have the Salvation Core with us, which gives us plus one to the roll. So even if we roll a one, we're still going to get two. So we don't need to roll the dice, if that all makes sense. And, oh my god, all the Z units are going to move. So at the beginning of the phase, place a new Z unit in the start space of every track applying stacking limits. And remove all hit markers from uh, Z units. Ooh. And then all tracks are going to move. Oh dear. Um, okay, we have a mob right here. We cannot put uh, one on this location. So I think we're going to go ahead. We're going to end up putting two on the forest track. So let's go ahead and do that. We had to end up putting two somewhere, so yeah, we'll put that on the forest track because we actually have uh, our Farmingdale Furies up there, and they're a very strong unit. So the two that we're getting there, oh my god, <laughs> no! Okay, we have real, real trouble here. We have a nine and an eight. Oh, wow. All right, over we go to the mountain track. Oh my goodness, that is painful. On the mountain track, we already have a four, and we're grabbing another one, which is, so this looks good too, a six. We have a mob of ten, and last, the highway track. Oh dear, this is not good. All right, highway track, we get an eight. <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. this is going to be pretty tough. And the only Z unit that has any damage on it is this one, and the damage markers are removed. And now all tracks move. My goodness. All right, let's start down on the suburb track. And we are in for some pain because we have an eight mob moving right in here. Of course, the defiant marker is going to come right off those guys. Uh, they are a three time advantage, but we do get a one shift. So it's going to be a double advantage, oh boy, for the Zeds. Oh, and let's get a nice high number. We get an eight, double advantage Zeds. Okay, that might not be as horrible as I think it's going to be. Hand to hand, double Z advantage and eight. Okay, our unit takes two hits. The Zeds take one hit and we have to retreat. So taking two hits flips us over. We must retreat. And these guys take one hit. We might as well put the one hit on the five. Oh, this is pretty brutal. All right, that was an easy track. Let's go up now to the forest track. And on the forest track, we have this 17 strength mob on their way. And this guy is gonna move right in here to the Farmingdale Furies. We're gonna have a hand to hand. This time it's three times human adva advantage because yeah. We're a six to two, and we get a shift anyway. All right, and we get a six on the three times human advantage. Maybe we can get rid of them. Three times human advantage, we roll a six. Wow, the Farmingdale Furies take a hit, but that Zed's unit is destroyed. Okay, wow, these guys destroyed, but the Farmingdale Furies take one hit. Hmm, they're still strength six, though, so they're still... Oh, but they get to... Sorry, they get to negate a hit because they're tough. So if they roll a four, five, or six, they don't take that hit. And they roll a three, so they take that hit. Darn it! All right, that's what it is. All right, over we go to the mountain track. And on the mountain track, we have a 10 mob moving up to here. Oh boy. All right, um, yeah. And down we go to the highway track. And down at the highway track, we have this eight mob moving up here. Oh boy, and I think that, uh, oh, and I forgot to do the hand-to-hand. -hand. We had hand-to-hand -hand combat twice, so our infection level goes up twice. It started at four, it's gonna be five, up to six. Ouch. All right, we have an infection level of six. All right, let's take a look at the rest of the card. All right, looking at the rest of the card, it's not really too good for us. We get one action, <laughs> and that's it. Oh dear. Um. Yeah, all right, we get one action. We have our Sheriff's Leadership action. We have a Player action. We have the uh, Salvation Corps action. They could actually do a heal on these guys, which would flip them back over. 
I wonder, I don't know if that's really worth it. All right, we're going to start with the Sheriff's Leadership action. He is going to actually shoot, because he can shoot one, two away uh, by reducing his uh, strength by one. So we're going to use up one bullet. Uh, oh, hang on, he can't shoot at his own troops. What am I talking about? <laughs> He'll just get these guys to do a scavenge action. Good Lord. All right, we're going to get these guys to scavenge. They need a four minimum, and they get nothing. So that was our Sheriff's Leadership action. Um, yeah, that was the end of that. All right, we have basically one regular action and a player action, and that's it. Ooh. All right, a little bit high level here. We, we do have the field medic station action for the Savior Corps. They can heal a unit in their same space or adjacent, which would be this one. Uh, we're going to spend one of our supplies down to eight, and we will heal these guys one. That would flip them over, and they're going to sit there with one damage on them. So they've been healed once, so they're back to their two strength. Might be keeping them alive a little longer. We hope. Uh, and now we have a player action, and we have a regular action, and I really have to kind of think about what it is we want to do. All right, we're going to use our regular action up here to have Mr. Johnson do some foraging for ammo, because I'm sure we're going to need it later. So he's going to go ahead and do that. Oh, man. <laughs> and he gets nothing at all. Well, that was a good use of that action. All right, we have a player player action, and with our player action, we're send, sending Bouncing Betty 1-2 down here. She's taken on the mob. And she because she's Bouncing Betty, she gets a... Three positive shift, human, adva or human advantage three times, and she rolls an eight. And I think that's going to be a not a bad little roll. Uh, so human advantage three times, rolls an eight. That's three hits to the Zed's unit, and they have to retreat. So we will take the six and flip them over, and they have to retreat down the mountain track. Boom! And that increases our infection rate up to seven. I keep forgetting that, but we did do a heal action with our Salvation Corps which takes it from seven down to six. So I think I got everything under control. Um, yes. All right, and that's the end of this card. Wow, that card is nasty. Let's zoom out. We're gonna have one more event for this episode. All right, one more lovely event for this episode, and it is the Highway Night Assault. Oh no. So we ignore the four R. So we, are, we may get an outbreak. We're rolling two dice. We're currently sitting at six. So we want to roll higher than a six. Oh, we don't. Okay, well, we get an outbreak. Oh, joy. <laughs> so what we do in an outbreak uh, is we reduce the infection by this amount. So one, two, three, four. It knocks it down to two, but we get an outbreak. So we'll take a look at this card here in a bit because we've ended up with an outbreak. Oh, man. So what do we do with an outbreak? We pull a fate card and we look at the location. So in the forest... We have an outbreak. <laughs> oh, great. Uh, so we're going to pull a Zed's unit from the bag, and it is going to go to the nearest uh, town location, closest town center, which at this will be St. Thomas. Oh, man. All right, so we're going to reach in the bag, and we're going to get a brand new lovely Zed's unit showing up at St. Thomas, and we get, oh, great, it's a two. Oh, at least we took a little bit of a break there for the strength. So that's how an outbreak works. And of course we have to look at the rest of the card. So we do need to eat one of our supplies. Oh great. So we're down to seven supplies. You can see everything dwindling away on us. And now the highway track moves twice. At the beginning of this phase, plus one infection per Z unit on the highway track. There's one. So our infection is going to go back to from two to three. Um, Place a new Z unit on the highway start space. And defending units have no terrain shift. Oh, man. All right, looks like we've got a bunch of activity on the highway track. Oh, you can see how this game goes sideways so very quickly. All right, new unit on the start space of the highway track. And we grab a five. All right, and there's going to be a double highway movement now. And we have no terrain bonuses for any units on our track. So the first set of, that's our first highway move, an eight to three is a double, two times advantage, but one shift. It's going to be one time advantage for the Z units. Oh, and our infection goes up one because we're into a hand to hand. 
We're up to four in section level. We roll an eight on Zed's advantage. Okay, let's see if that's terrible or not. Zed's advantage, roll an eight. Wow, the Zeds have to retreat. They take two hits, uh, but our units also take two hits. So two hits for these guys. One will flip them over. Two will put another damage on them. These guys take, uh, what was it? I missed two hits and retreat, I believe is what we said. Yeah, they take two hits and retreat. Oh great, back to here. Oh, that doesn't put them over. Two hits puts them to there, and they have to retreat. Well, that was the first movement on the highway track. Yes, we oh, we don't get it. We don't get a shift. Oh god, I forgot about the card. Hang on, let's double check that. Zed's advantage. It's actually two times advantage. Uh, and we rolled... We rolled a 10? What did we roll? An 8. So, oh no, we take two hits, the Zeds takes one, and we have to retreat. Okay, let's retro that. Ah, I forgot. So these guys take two hits. They took the same amount of hits, and they have to retreat. Okay, that's how that works. Apologize for that. Yes, the card specifically says no terrain shifts. Okay, I got that all correct. We do have another movement now on the highway. All right, one more movement on the highway, which means an eight is coming in here. Three times advantage. <laughs> we, our infection rate goes from four to five, another hand-to-hand -hand combat, and this could be very bad. So we're at three times dead advantage, and we roll a five. Oh my goodness, that sounds absolutely not what we want. Three times dead advantage, and we roll a five. We get nailed four hits. So this unit is possibly off to the hospital with an EKG marker on it, or it's to the graveyard, depending on what they roll. And they roll a four, so they are off to the hospital. So these guys are off to the hospital. They get an EKG marker put on them. So what that means is the first time they're healed, they lose the EKG marker, and they go back to having a health damage on them. So currently, they're comatose in the hospital <clears throat> with an EKG marker on them. That is terrible. And did I increase the infection level one more? Um, I think I did because that was another hand-to-hand. -hand. Oh my goodness, all right, that's the end of this absolutely horrible, horrible, horrible turn. And now it is actions time. So we get one action. Woo, <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna zoom out. We're gonna figure out what we wanna do with our one clapboard action or player action. We have a Salvation Corps action and a Sheriff Initiative action. And yes, I forgot to read the rest of this card. Play this card. Player units in town center cannot move for the remainder of this turn. So basically it just means our mayor can't move the remainder of this turn. But that's not a big deal because I don't think he's going anywhere anyway. Okay, we have um, basically a couple of actions to do. And I'm not even sure what we want to do, so let me think about this. Oh dear, we are in real trouble. The f I think the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna have Mr. Johnson leave the Lucky Strike mine. I know, it's good for ammo. We have nine ammo, we're down to seven supplies. We're gonna be doing a lot of healing. So he's gonna go one, two, three, four, and free move into town because that's how that works. Because the mayor's there, you get to move into town space for free, town center for free. That was our action. We have a player action and we have the sheriff leadership action. For the sheriff leadership action, he'll get these guys to do a scavenge or forage action. Um, and they roll a three, which means they find nothing. Oh my god. Can't even get a supply. Sad. Okay, that was the sheriff's initiative action. Uh, we have one player action left. And I think we're going to use the player action on Mr. Johnson in the town center. He gets a plus one uh, to his dice rolls because of the mirror. And so he gets, uh, well, he gets two fours. He gets doubles and he gets plus one. So that's two fours. And if we look at the fours at the town center, uh, four gives him one uh, supply. So that's going to be two supplies. So we're up to nine supplies. That's all of our actions, everybody spent everything. We still have a field medic uh, action. So we might go ahead and use the Savior Corps field medal medic action. Yeah, I think, oh man, I don't know. We're gonna use one supply. Our infection rate's gonna go down one. 
and we're going to heal these guys one which gets the gets the damage right off them so they're fully healed again and that's it that was our uh, field medic savior core action and I think that's it so we've done everything we can if I haven't messed up the this here I'll check it in editing that was this was a nasty card oh my goodness all right Mizzou out and wrap up our episode for today yeah, the basic game was a bit of a cakewalk with good rolls that I had. This one is turning into a massacre. Uh, I, uh, this is bad. We still have, I believe, 15 cards, event cards we have to get through. We have no defense on the highway track. The mountain track, we have Bouncing Betty doing a great job. We got the Furies up here, uh, and we're getting a whole bunch of muck going on down here. But we got a lot of mobs coming. 17 strength mob. I think we're going to have to run Bouncing Betty over to the forest track at some point oh man i don't know this is getting nasty so thanks so much for watching along thanks for comments subscriptions likes this is dawn of the zed's third edition we're playing the outbreak level and things are getting kind of tense so thanks so much see you tomorrow for the continuation all right one pretty big correction here at the end of the episode we had a start space on the suburbs track and i because we had a mob down here so we could have put a Z unit down here. We grabbed a 9 and an 8 for the forest track. So you know what? We're going to put the 9 down here and it would have moved there. It didn't affect this episode whatsoever, but now we've got the Zeds in the proper track. I don't know what I was thinking. The start space was not overloaded with two Zeds, so that was not an issue. All right. <laughs> Thanks so much. The more continuation, Don of the Zeds, third edition, Outbreak Level.